What's going on guys, Leon Brat here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to save your Twitch VODs onto a second YouTube channel. I've just started doing this on my own channel because Twitch have recently sent out an email to all music creators stating that they should remove all of the VODs and clips if they include covers of songs. Now this is because of copyright strikes called DMCAs, which stands for the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. As a musician on Twitch, it's perfectly okay to stream live original covers of songs. However, the problem is once that stream has been saved onto a VOD, it is now eligible for a DMCA strike because it's now recorded music, not live music. Basically, if you get three DMCA strikes, you're out or banned from Twitch. We don't want that. Now, the biggest issue that most musicians on Twitch have is that you only get three strikes or copyright strikes before you're banned from Twitch. Now, for me personally, I play around 30 songs per stream and most of those are eligible for a DMCA strike. That's only one VOD. Yeah, this is the problem. So this video is gonna be split up into two sections. The first section is gonna be all about setting up your second YouTube channel for your VODs. And the second part of this video is gonna be how to actually save and export your VODs from Twitch over onto YouTube. But just before we get into setting up the second YouTube channel, I just wanna run through some pros and cons as to why you would be wanting to do this method. So a couple of pros as to why you'd be wanting to export your VODs to YouTube is that number one, it keeps your Twitch channel DMCA free. Number two, it means that your viewers can actually still watch the VODs. Number three is that your VODs are actually saved until YouTube dies, which means that compared to a 14 day storage time for a regular streamer or a 60 day storage time for Prime, Turbo and partnered streamers, it just means that you can save your VODs pretty much forever. And number four is that you can directly export your VODs straight from Twitch to YouTube, which means that you don't have to download anything and then re-upload it. And a few cons that I've written down is that number one, if you don't have your Twitch chat actually on your screen at the same time, then unfortunately you're gonna lose the Twitch chat. Number two is that your viewers actually have to go to a different platform to watch the VODs. Number three is that your Twitch channel could look very, very bare without any videos. And number four is that it may potentially stunt your offline growth if you have no videos on your channel. Now, everyone's in the same boat with all these DMCA strikes and all these copyright notices and all these copyright things that are going around Twitch at the moment, but everyone's situation is completely different. So whether you are gonna be uploading to a main channel or a second channel is completely up to you, but here's why I'm gonna be doing it on my second channel. As a content creator, you should be making original content on YouTube. It's gonna help your Twitch growth so, so much it's unbelievable how much they actually merge together. If I was to save all of my Twitch VODs onto my YouTube channel, onto my main channel, there would be three VODs a week swamping the rest of my content. And this is just gonna mean that it's gonna be so much harder for people to come onto my main channel and search for the content that they wanna see. So that's the reason why I've made a second YouTube channel, just so it keeps all the VODs separate from the other original content on the main channel. So with that being said, let's get into it. Let's jump onto the PC. Let's start setting up a second YouTube channel. And if you have already got a second YouTube channel or you don't really wanna set up a YouTube channel and you just wanna put it onto your main channel, then that's completely fine. Just go to the timestamp which is on the screen. It will be in the chapter below this video as well. So just skip forward if you need to. Right, let's get into it. So we're onto the PC now and to set up a second YouTube channel with the same email address, you are gonna to go to the bottom left of the screen. You can see this underneath my camera over here. Click on settings and then you're gonna go over to add or manage your channels. Click on that and then all you're gonna to need to do is click create a channel there. And then what I did for my second channel was put Leon Bratz Twitch VODs and that's it and I created that. So if you click on that or click on create, click on under I understand whatever and then click on create as well, that's the second YouTube channel made already. That's all you need to do. So once you have created your second YouTube channel, what you're gonna to want to do is add a profile picture, add a background, and just make everything nice and branded, pretty much the same as your, your main channel, just so it looks nice and clean for your viewers, basically. And to do that, you're gonna click on Customize Channel, 
and then on here you are gonna click on branding and you can upload your profile picture here and your banner just there as well put in some basic info do whatever you need to do and then you can link to your main channel uh, your main channel here and your twitch channel as well and then if you come back over to the layout section what you're gonna want to do is come down to the featured sections just here click on add section and then click on featured channels and then what you're gonna do is put in your main channel there and then you're gonna type in your main channel. For me, this would be Leon Brat Music. Then I can add that there, click on done, and then that will be as a featured channel just here. So if we go over to the channel, you'll see that my main channel is here straight away, even though that this is my VODs channel. And if I go onto my main channel, I've done the same here, scroll down a little bit, you can see Twitch VODs just here just so they link in nicely. It's a nice little feature. That's how you link those two channels together. So once you've got all that set up and you're happy with everything and how it all looks and you've linked the two channels together, the next thing that you're gonna to want to do is go over to Twitch and then come top right and then click on settings. Next on settings, you wanna click on connections and then in the YouTube section, this will say something like export archive or something like that. Click connect and then you're gonna connect your second YouTube channel. If you click on the wrong YouTube channel, you can just click disconnect and then reconnect it it's very very simple and then next what you're gonna do is click on top right again and click on create a dashboard then on the left hand side you are gonna click on content and then video producer so this is where all of your VODs and all of your highlights are saved as you can see all of my VODs are currently unpublished literally every single one is unpublished it feels really bad <laughs> like really really bad I have made highlights of originals as you can see here just so my viewers have actually got something to watch but yeah, this this feels bad, guys. I, I can't lie to you. But anyway, we move on. We move on. We have to move on. So this is how to export VODs on to YouTube. Let's go. Let's do it. As you can see, all of these are unpublished. Let's click on this one here. We're going to click on the three dots just here and then click on export. Now you're going to be uh, welcomed very nicely by this box here, export to YouTube. And if you haven't already connected your account, your Twitch account to YouTube, this is where you can go through the setup process of linking the two together. And like I said, if you did do the wrong YouTube channel, all you, need, all you need to do is go into your connections on Twitch in your settings, and then you can just disconnect it and reconnect to the correct channel. But what we're gonna do is for the very first VOD, we are literally just gonna say, okay, cool, export to YouTube, and I'm gonna take out this part of the title here. This is what Wednesday Jams, where was this? So 28th of April, and then I'm gonna title the video here, 28th of April, 2021. Then I'm gonna type full Twitch. VOD, just like that. And then the description, you can leave that blank. All the tags, you can leave that blank for the first VOD that you do. Then you're gonna click on export. It's gonna take quite a while, but everything will be a lot quicker after the first VOD is completed. Now, after you've clicked export on Twitch, you then need to come over to your YouTube channel and click top right, and then click on YouTube Studio. Then on the left-hand side, you are gonna click on content, and after a few seconds or after a couple of minutes, this will be uploaded. As you can see, this is the one just here that we've just exported from Twitch which is Wednesday Jams, 28th of April, 2021. Now, this will take quite a while to actually process, well, to upload and export, and then to process the standard definition and the high definition as well. It does take quite a while, I can't lie. But once it has uploaded, it will then look something like this. You'll, <laughs> you'll have a, a proper thumbnail and everything will be uploaded. It will just say scheduled, none, well, for the restrictions, or it might have copyright strike, as you can see, copyright claims down here. So when it comes to uploading your next couple of VODs after the first one's done and you've done all of the description, then the easiest way to do it and the most efficient way to do it would be to do everything in chronological order. I would start from the bottom and work your way up to the most recent ones. And if we click on this one, for example, click on export, and then what you're gonna do is, what I like to do is copy this part of the title, copy that there, and then I'm gonna get rid of this part here, and this one, say this one was the 7th, 17th of April, go 17th of April, so that's all sorted, title's in there, description, you can just come over here, copy, paste, scroll down a bit to your tags, click on copy all, paste in there, and that is your description and your tags 
done already with your title as well. And what I also like to do after it's been uploaded to YouTube is just to go through the VOD and, you know, write down all of the songs that were done in that video. But if we go to this video, you can see that by adding in the contents into the description, it actually comes up as chapters and it's nice and nice and easy to search through the VOD if people want to. So going back, we can say start exporting that one. I'm not going to do it because I've already done all of them. But yeah, just go through them all. Do the same description, do the same tags. It just makes your life so much easier. And what you can do after you've done the first VOD is just bulk upload loads of them because you don't need to download anything. They all export on their own and they, they take pretty much the same amount of time. So instead of just doing one VOD and then doing another VOD and then doing another VOD, you can literally do 20 VODs at the same time get them all onto YouTube and then what you're gonna do is just schedule all of those VODs every say four hours, five hours, just bring those VODs out constantly, consistently, and then you can be caught up to the most recent VOD. And that's it. So there we go, guys. That was how to save your Twitch VODs onto a second YouTube channel. Nice and easy. You don't have to download anything. I know it's a bit of a pain to do this, but at least we don't actually lose the VODs. And at least our viewers can still watch the VODs even though they have been taken down on Twitch. If you did enjoy this video and you did find value within this video, then please do smash that like button as hard as you can. Hit subscribe as well for more videos like this every single week. And good luck not getting DMCA'd and good luck with the copyrights. So yeah, <laughs> right, enjoy all of this extra work that we have to do. I love you guys. Take it easy. See you next week. Peace.